is we are going to fetch all the records which we have which we have added in our previous lecture and we are going to show all the record to here like this all categories we are going to create now for the product okay so as you know if you required for suppose uh, you have your categories you are showing the categories here and you are fetching these categories from the database so what you need you need to copy this method and you need to check this method here all the categories okay so what you are doing here you are creating the pagination for the category now what you need we are going to use this code for our product purpose why because of your timing so because it's hard to uh, cr create the method then uh, it's your uh, duty to validate your form and it's, it, it's your duty to define these all so it's totally depend upon you either you are coding from the scratch or you can use the previous code okay so copy this code here uh, what you need i'm saying all products okay so go to your nav bar left you have to you can also update this thing and the product okay go to your page refresh the page now hit this button product so you can see it's fetching all the categories from the database so now go to your page you can use the method here because of the base url why because you are uh, you are creating the paginations for your product so you can just you, what you need you need to just update these two methods because you are fetching the rows here and you are fetching the all content okay why i'm saying go to my model copy this code okay paste this code here you are fetching all the categories so now you can update this products all products and now you can also update this one all the products okay you can products products where not c where p status make sure p status equals to one okay so what you need you need to update this as well okay because we have the same model now what you need go to your page refresh the page now it will give you the error why because you are fetching uh, the product from your database what you need you need to update you need this okay so copy this paste this here because we i'm going to create a new view which is all products so what you need go to your admin and home where is the view view admin home I'm going to create a new file which is all products and now these are the all categories copy this and paste this here go to your page refresh the page now it's giving you the error because CID is not exist first of all you are fetching the products from the database what you need you need to update your cid also okay because it's related with categories so that's why what you need you need to just change this class why because you are going to create the delete method all delete functionality also what you need i'm saying and now i'm giving you the trick consider this uh you are fetching the all products so you can you have to say that this is the all products copy this 
copy this section go to your page because you are receiving the products from the controller and now what you need you need to update all the uh, this variable so you can see you are using the variable here 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 okay so it's it really depend upon you first of all what you need you just need to copy uh, change this to product copy this and you can I'm saying just find control shift R make sure control shift R make sure I'm saying now I'm saying find all the categories variables replace with product first of all the file is dot PHP when the match case when you are finding or you can find this variable just replace all I'm saying find this replace with this okay replace all it's saying uh, replace six occurrence occurrence of category I'm saying okay so you can see you have uh, updated uh, your product now what you need you need to update this because uh, you are fetching the product ID not the category ID so what you need you need to update this control shift R I'm saying copy this and replace with PID PID is the product ID okay now go to your page refresh the page you can see you have one ID C name so find your C name now its product name refresh the page its product name uh, you have your added system and delete system go to your section you have your added added category and your delete category first of all you have to use the added product refresh the page now I'm saying delete product so this is the delete product also refresh the page fine I'm sending I'm saying this is the product and this is also the product ID so you have successfully fetched the all data from the product okay I think this is enough for today uh, in the next lecture we are going to create the added system and the delete system as well because this is a basic series so that's why we are going to we are going step by step so thank you for watching